Two stars! Oh, New yeah. high school! Well done. Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. Um, we're starting very late in the day because the poorliness has hit me. Uh, it's everything I can do to try and force out some words to bring you up to speed with what's going on. We are taking Andy to respite. He's got a couple of nights at respite now. He's been fine today. He's been back at school. Amy was still off today. If you don't know what's wrong with us all, check out yesterday's vlog. We told you all about how poorly we were there and how I was trying to avoid getting it. I've definitely got it. But Amy's still off school today. Anna is a little bit better, but not massively better, would you say? Is that an accurate description? She's a little bit better. She's got clothes on today. Um, and Andy is completely fine. <laughs> yes, we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you three, yeah. So, we brought him to McDonald's for his usual before going to respite burgers. And then we'll head back on the road again. Well, I'm not going to be able to sit with them in here because Andy's decided to go and sit over there with a the little touchscreen iPad thing and I can't get my legs under that kid's table that's over there so he's just enjoying himself playing that. The food's coming to me though so I might just eat his burgers and see if he comes over to join me. So what are you playing Andy? Andy, what are you playing? Angry Birds. Angry Birds? Okay. Try to meet the moon. Okay. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Two stars! Oh, New well. high school! Well done. I'm really sorry if you're the person who has to clean the floor in McDonald's. Andy's been here. Trip to McDonald's complete. That was mad in there. Bear in mind, we're only we're less than 10 miles from where we live. Two different people recognise us in there, which is a new experience. It's close to home. Yeah, oh yeah, we just got off. Just got off first public chat fam. Anna was very pleased. I was mortified. That cannot catch on. Uh, so we're now heading back towards the car. Drive up to Boston. In good traffic. This would be a half hour drive. It's Friday afternoon, rush hour. Yeah, it's right. gonna be like an hour before we get there. We're gonna be late, as we always are. We're supposed to be there for, we're supposed to be there for five o'clock. We've never got there anywhere near five o'clock. It's currently 20 to five now. So even on a good day, we wouldn't get there for five o'clock, especially now Andy's getting home from school later. It's just very difficult to get there on time, but we'll head up there. I don't really know what mine and Anna's plan is for the rest of the day, because she's not very well. Normally we'd look to go and do something super exciting and fun or at the very least go to b and I don't think it's going to be possible today, so watch this space, we'll figure something out. For those of you keeping score, it took 61 minutes to get here, which is ridiculous. Andy, you need your socks on. I need your socks on, get four feet. He's really getting into a habit of not wearing socks, and it's rubbing on his feet, but because he takes his shoes and socks off everywhere he goes, he seems to just be getting into the habit of just putting the, the shoes back on. He does it at school, he does it in the taxi, he's just done it now, and he's really getting sore feet, but doesn't seem to recognise the correlation. Yeah, exactly, we're the only people who are putting the socks on. He comes home from school every day with no socks on. So we've asked them to make sure his socks go on. And today, rather than the socks being in his bag, like they have been for the last few days where he's taken them off at school, he was holding them when he got out of the taxi, but obviously he's taken his shoes and socks off. What are you doing? Touching the soles of his feet to every part of the car, it seems, that's new. But yeah, obviously he's taken his shoes and socks off in the taxi and then just put his shoes back on there as well. So we need to get into the habit, or get everyone else into the habit of always putting his socks back on. Right, anyway, Andy. Are you going to say bye-bye to the vlog? Bye-bye. If you have enjoyed it, please a magician or a nice big sub from so subscribe and thank you very much for watching. Oh. Exactly. Well, you'll see Andy again in two days. Yes, I'll get the rice krispies. And we're home and uh, sadness has enveloped the vlog because of Anna's poorliness. I have to do the treats box this month by myself because she doesn't want to be on camera any more than she already has been. And... Uh, she wouldn't be able to taste it anyway. 
She's got no sense of taste. So I'm gonna eat it all by myself and it's gonna be delicious. So as ever with the treats box, there is a link down in the description for how you can, uh, I think you get a discount off your first one. I don't remember all the details. All the details are down in the description. Me not remembering, really, is your reason to go down and check. So it's tactical not re remembering. Obviously I remember really, I just want you to click in the description. Um, but all the details are down there. I think we established last month that this month's box was going to be from the Netherlands. Is that the Dutch flag? I think that's the Dutch flag. Um, so let's have a look to see what we've got. I don't know how to do this without Anna translating it for me constantly. So there's the confirmation that we are doing a box from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. I'm not gonna read all the nonsense that Anna normally reads. She can, she can come on and read it if she wants it reading. There's a recipe for meatballs on there. Um, right. There we have. Oh, sit behind. You're gonna, you what you're but no one will be able to hear you if you're behind. Huh? Directional microphone. You have to sit next to me. You're going to sit slightly off camera, are you? So, there's your instructions. And straight away, I can see that my favourite Dutch food is in here. You Stroop have waffles. Them. I do have some Stroop waffles that I bought in Tesco the this other day. This is the butter lover's favourite. Absolutely delicious. What Stroop waffles are? Apparently. They're baked with 100% butter to provide an extra rich flavour made from two thin layers of baked dough and a caramel syrup filling in the middle. It doesn't feel right not having it melted on top of a coffee, um, but I do need to see if these taste different to the ones we buy in the supermarkets here. No, they taste exactly the same. They're delicious. Would you like the other Stroop waffle? Don't I'm like just going to put that to one side for a minute and I'll come back to it. Are Mentos particularly Dutch? Uh, I don't know, are they? I'm going to come back to Mentos. <laughs> yeah, men li no, they're licorice rolls. I'm going to come back to all the sweet stuff the way we normally do. I don't know why I started with Stroop waffles, other than the fact that I like them. But there's some mints, there's some Mentos, a yeah, windmill these are cookie. Licorice. We'll come back to them, don't worry. And have a windmill cookie, Frutella. This is, do Dutch people just eat sweets? Um, that packet underneath Chocolate. is Chocolate. What, like this? I love lady fingers. They're Lance fingers. Yeah, but I, I like really fingers. Um, there is nothing savoury in here. It's more sweets, more mints. Dutch people love mints. So the only savoury thing in the entire box is bread crisps. So bread. Yeah. let me try a bread crisp. Go away, Dave. So these are Gouda flavour. I hate cheese crisps. No, they're bread crisps. They're made from bread. Let's taste one. I don't know. It tastes like quavers. I can smell them. <laughs> Dave, you have one. You like quavers. And bread. Dave gives them a thumbs up. I don't like them at all. I just don't like um, cheese crisps. Right, let's have a have a go on the Lance fingers. Lady fingers by <laughs> Jurgens, also known as sponge fingers. So I thought they were hard. A long shaped biscuit sprinkled with sugar and enjoyed by all ages. I hate when people put these in trifles. That's what they're for, isn't it? Mm, don't like it. No, it says here, even more delicious paired with a cup of tea or coffee. They're a bit. I love them. They're like rusks. They've got, yeah, they're like rusks with weird flavoured sugar on them. So we have two windmill cookies. So I'll put one in there. Windmill. Hmm. All right. Don't open. I've Stop got, eating I've then. Got no saliva. Right, windmill cookies. They're all smashed up. Centuries old, baked with real almond, cinnamon, nutmeg, and a hint of clove. Oh, they smell cinnamony. I'm not a cinnamon person. I'll give it a smell if I can. Oh no, that's horrible. Windmill cookies are excellent. They're really nice. I guess this is just a bar of chocolate. Chocolate, um, chocolade, reap, melt. It's made with extra cocoa, but earn real vanilla for a smooth, creamy melt away. Dave, texture. you can't eat chocolate. Should I like a piece of chocolate. It just tastes like every European chocolate I've ever had. And I don't include English, British chocolate on that. Just European chocolate always tastes a little bit weird. Right, what are these? Zwart wit pastilles. Oh, this is a black and white candy roll. No for their well-known licorice candy in Holland. What is it with licorice? I hate licorice. <laughs> it's a familiar black powder from a jar processed into a delicious candy with surprisingly mild salty flavour. <laughs> Dutch people, what's like the deal with licorice? <laughs> licorice is good for you. Oh my lord. <laughs> that is licorice. That is disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. 
They, they're hideous. They're not. Oh. No, they are awful. They're like. It tasted like salty licorice. So these Mentos are licorice as well, are they? No, no, wait, wait, wait. A liquid, right? So basically, the first chewy bite gives you a great mild mint flavour. Chew a little longer, and the licorice comes through. I don't want the licorice to come through. I hate licorice. These are gnarly. They're not. They're horrible. I love a bit. Of oh, luckily we've got mints. A Wilhelmina mint candy. They're famous for their unique, fresh taste with a royal note. What's a royal note? It's a great after oh, dinner. Oh wow! They just smell like extra strong. Oh, they do smell. Smell super strong. Smell me. What are you gonna smell? Yeah. <laughs> oh lord! It Clean my nose, eh, Will? They're more menthol than mint. Well, it says it's great after dinner. They're delicious. I don't know how I'm supposed to review the rest of the box, though. With a mint in. Well, you've got two mints. Are they mint chewable? <laughs> it says Frutella. I've had Frutella before. The Dutch Starburst Fruit Juice Natural Colours. So, just yeah, it's just an opal fruit. Yeah, opal fruits. No, not Frutella. Because they're now Starburst, not Opal Fruit. Opal Fruit turned into Starburst. No, yeah, but not Fritella. You just said they're a Dutch Starburst. It just tastes like an Opal Fruit or a Chew It. Chew they all it. taste the same. And then lastly, we have King Chew Mints, which are peppermint flavour. Is this gum or a mint? I don't know, it just says flavour on the like gum. don't like gum. Oh, they taste very medicine-y. They taste like, like fisherman friends or something. It's not very minty at all. But if you wanted it just as a hint. Hmm. They're actually going to be quite good for this cold that's coming on. Oh, Ooh, I don't like that taste. They get very minty. Yeah, that's uh, that's Holland. Apparently Dutch people love sweets. Who knew? <laughs> Have we got our clue for next month? Here we go. Next month's feature country is the fifth largest country in the world, both by... Land and population. Oh, I Brazil. Know it. Yeah. Is it really? Did so I get that from the first guess? What a hero! So Brazil. The Brazilian... Final clue, this country is home to one of the world's greatest football players. England. George Boyd. <laughs> what, so, that hairy guy? Yeah. Brazil next month then. I am excited. If you want to get your Brazilian treats box next month, you need to sign up for Try Treats using the link. That is down in the description. Give me a um, ladyfinger. <laughs> Thank you. And on that note, I think we'll end today's vlog because I've got to go and do a you now stream and then our podcast. If you have enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching. What? <laughs> Why you cheer? <laughs>